Well, the Lyric Corman drama continues in America as Amber Heard admitted she's yet to donate her full $7 million divorce settlement from Johnny Depp, despite saying that she'd given it already to charity. She actually appeared on Danish TV, saying the money had been split between two organisations, but that was not the case. Fast forward Seven to 2020. $7 million dollars in total was donated to... I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. But that wasn't true. She told uh, a court today... Uh, something rather different. And in the current libel case, the court so far has heard only $1.3 million has been donated by the herd or on her behalf, and the actress admits now that she hasn't paid in full. So can we believe her? Well, joining me now is Gloria Allred, one of the top attorneys in America. Gloria, great to see you. You too, Piers. Quick question. Who do you believe? This is a real... He, he said, she said, not a lot of hard evidence on either side... Who do you believe? Well, there are some recordings, so there are some also newspaper headlines that have been discussed. Uh, I, I leave it for the jury to decide who to believe, but the point is that credibility is always an important issue. Uh, and and at, on this case, it is a he said, she said, but that makes credibility that much more important. Uh, and really, there are some side issues, in a way, the um, donation of the money. I think the real issue for the jury is, did he uh, batter her? Did he sexually abuse her? Did she abuse him? Uh, and they're going to have to sort all of this out, and they'll do so after they get the jury instructions in this defamation case. I mean, what's amazing to me is we've already been through one big court battle here in the UK, which Johnny Depp ended up losing. So we've been yes. through all this once. We're now going through it all over again. And I don't see there's any winners coming out of this. I think both of their reputations have been so tarnished by the lurid details, it's very hard to see either of them coming out of this with anything other than losing in the court of public opinion. Right, and, and let's remember that it's Johnny Depp that filed this defamation case against Amber Heard. He was not required to do that. He could have just let the uh, decision in the case against the son in the UK uh, be what it was and kind of die a, a quiet death uh, with no more comments about it and try to rehabilitate his career. But no, he, he decided, let's keep on with this, and he files this civil lawsuit against Amber Heard. She, of course, then had the right to counter she did also file a complaint against him. Uh, so uh, we'll have to wait and see what the jury decides. But I agree with you, Piers, that it's really not good for either one of their reputations. On the other hand, if the jury feels that what she said was true, uh, then I think that uh, they may find for her. How much is her uh, veracity? But I think there is a lot of Laura. sympathy for him. Right. How Pardon much me? is her? How much is her veracity now in question? over this issue of whether well, she actually donated the money, because she clearly said she had, and she said that in the first court case as well. But it now turns out she hadn't. Absolutely not. Well, I, I do think that that's an issue. Uh, and I think some of what Johnny Depp has said is, you know, also might be questioned by the jury. But they're just going to have to sort this all out. You know, they could decide, I don't like either one of these people, a pox on both of your houses. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to find for either one of you. That's very possible. We don't know. I know there's been a lot of discussion that the jury may not be looking at Amber Heard, and what does that mean? If that's true, it may mean a lot of things. It could mean that they're just tired, they've made up their minds already, even though they haven't deliberated and made a decision as a group. Uh, or it, it may be that uh, there's nothing more for them to hear. They, they just would mm. like to get to the deliberation right. already and, and stop hearing all of these back and forths. Right. You know, it's, I just find the whole thing unbelievably tawdry, I have to be honest. It's like the ultimate dirty linen being washed in public, and I just don't think anyone wins. But, Gloria, as always, you've given a brilliant analysis of it, and I'm very grateful to you. Thank you. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. All the best. You too, and congratulations on your new show. Thank you. It's great to have you. It wasn't a proper show till you were on it, so thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>